Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in Istanbul, Turkey because I'm getting a nose job, a rhinoplasty. Disclaimer before we get into this video, if you don't like plastic surgery, if you're against cosmetic surgery, I suggest maybe not watching this video, maybe watch another one of my videos because obviously I will be documenting my rhinoplasty experience and that is a cosmetic surgery. I also wanted to say that if you're here to tell me that I didn't need the surgery, that you really loved my nose before, that you like my before nose better thank you but please keep those comments to yourself because it's already done at this point so I'm just gonna quickly go over like the frequently asked questions and the basic information so I'm getting a primary rhinoplasty it's my first ever cosmetic surgery so I'm a little bit anxious about the anesthesia but I'm not nervous about how it's gonna look my doctor does really good work the doctor that I'm going to is Dr. Alpaslan Yildirim I will leave his Instagram here I'll also link it in the description box below he specializes in what they call ethnic rhinoplasty which is where they take a piece of your rib and they add to your your nose versus like a western or traditional rhinoplasty where they take away some of your nose most doctors in turkey they will offer a package for international patients because turkey is pretty well known for medical tourism my total for him is six thousand two hundred dollars and that includes the surgery the hotel stay the hospital stay medications and transportation and i'm paying in us dollars so i did have to take out the money before i left and then i brought it here he booked everything for me when it comes to the hotel transportation all of that the only thing that i had to book was my flight and my flight was a little bit over six hundred dollars so everything in total is a little under seven thousand dollars and a lot of people will say that that's pretty pricey for turkey nose jobs because some of them are in like the three thousand four thousand dollar range not including the flight but i really like this doctor's work and it's still way less than if i were to get an ethnic rhinoplasty in the states i also live in california in the states and my only like good options are in la specifically beverly hills and they charge like twenty thousand dollars there and i just really like the way that my doctor makes the noses look personally i don't mind the done look i like when a nose kind of looks fake like i want it to look like the perfect barbie nose and that's kind of what he's known for so I'm very, very excited. For the hotel, I'm staying at La Quinta by Wyndham. Like I said, he booked it for me. This is what my room looks like. I don't really care what the room looks like because I'm just staying here to recover. I like it. It's clean. It's nice. It's exactly what I need just to be comfortable and recover from my surgery. They do offer free breakfast every day, which is pretty cool, and I am taking advantage of that. So my schedule for the entire procedure, I got here last night at 11 p.m., so really, really late. The flight was a total of 14 hours, but I had the flight divided up in two my first flight was 10 hours and then my second flight was almost four hours because my flight did take off pretty late at night i just slept for the first flight the 10 hour flight so it really wasn't that bad at all and then when i got here my doctor set up transportation for us they picked me up from the airport and then i went straight to the clinic to do pre-op tests i did a chest scan a covid pcr test and then some blood work it was very fast maybe like 20 minutes in total and then they brought me to my hotel today i'm having my in-person consultation with my doctor and then i have the rest of the day to just chill and maybe explore a little bit i do want to go visit this mosque that I'm seeing outside of my window. It looks beautiful and I've seen the pictures and it looks stunning so I really really want to go see the mosque. My surgery is tomorrow. They're gonna pick me up in the morning and then I have to stay in the hospital for one night. In Turkey when you have a cosmetic procedure they have you stay one night. I think it's just to monitor you to make sure that you're okay after the procedure. The following day, they'll take me back to the hotel and then I heal for five days and I come back for an in-person checkup and the next day I will fly home. So I will take you guys on this entire journey with me. I'm really, really excited. Let me show you what my nose looks like now. This is the front view of my nose. You guys have seen it before. You've seen it in Instagram pictures and videos. And then this is the side view. I don't hate my nose. I think it's super cute, but I do wanna do a couple of things to make her even cuter. The main issue that I have with my nose is that there is no tip definition at all. I have a very bulbous tip. It kind of just looks like a blob. So I would like him to add some definition and just refine my tip. My nose bridge is actually pretty high for an Asian nose 
but right here right between my brows it's low and that's where my glasses would typically sit and my glasses always slide so i'm gonna ask him to raise my nose bridge a little bit which will in turn obviously add some definition here because he will be taking rib and putting it here so my nose should be more defined at the bridge and at the tip the way that it slopes is fine it's straight but i would like the little ski slope barbie slope so i think he's gonna have to shave some of it down before putting the rib cartilage on because i was reading that if you put rib cartilage over a nose that's already kind of high it's just gonna look over projected and i've seen that with a certain doctor in la just some general information on a rhinoplasty it takes at least a year to heal with ethnic rhinoplasties because you are stretching the skin and you're adding cartilage to the nose it can honestly take up to two years to heal so i'm already expecting my nose to be extremely extremely swollen i've seen cast videos where people on cast off day they take off their casts and their nose looks bigger than what it looked like before so i'm kind of preparing myself for that to help with swelling i've been taking arnica pills my doctor said that's okay it's like a homeopathic holistic plant medicine whatever it's supposed to help with swelling and bruising and then i'm also going to take bromelain or bromelain it's the enzyme in pineapple that's supposed to help with swelling too that is all i have to say for now i will update you guys when they come and take me to my consultation <laughs> back from my consultation it went really really well my doctor was so sweet and knowledgeable i didn't get any footage of the actual consultation because i was busy talking to him i told him everything that i told you guys earlier i also showed him pictures of his own work that he's done before and i asked if that would be possible for a nose like mine and he said yes he showed me some pictures of what my nose will look like and he showed me before and afters that he's done where the patients had a similar nose to mine it went really well we were on the same page so i'm really happy about about that he also confirmed that i do have a deviated septum i felt like i did because i can only breathe out of one nostril so he took a look and yeah my septum is deviated so we are gonna fix that during the surgery so the procedure will help my breathing i'm not nervous at all he made me feel really comfortable so now i'm just looking forward to the surgery now i just have to pack my bag <laughs> Okay guys, I'm here at the hospital. I just did a bunch of paperwork. Oh yeah, she took my vitals too. So now we're just waiting for the anesthesia doctor. It was slightly elevated. Yeah, cause I'm nervous. I put a water in the mini fridge so I can have an ice cold water when I come out. Hey guys. <laughs> what the fuck? Say bye bye. <laughs> Gotta fix my hair so I look nice for the video. Hey guys. I'll just do it myself. Thank you. Hey. I just got out of surgery. My lip is red from the intubation, but you guys so they gave me this sedative because i was nervous about the anesthesia and i kept thinking to myself how do i say thank you in turkish how do i say thank you in turkish and so i went to sleep and then i had a very short dream about me saying thank you in turkish over and over and over and over and then i woke up this is what i'm looking like obviously swollen yeah this is all taped up I have to breathe through my mouth because there's tampons in my nose so it's a little uncomfortable but it's okay material girl i'm looking real rough but uh they brought me some soup i'm not sure what kind of soup because i can't smell and your taste is from your smell but i'm gonna eat it 
and drink more water. Hi everyone, it's a couple hours later. I'm getting really swollen now and some bruising. I'm about to go on my first walk. Quick update, I'm looking pretty rough. I feel like I look a lot worse than I actually feel. I have bruising here and I'm so swollen. Everyone here has been so nice. I finished off all my medications, so I don't need to be hooked up anymore. All the nurses are really, really sweet, and I'm feeling good. I haven't been doing much. I've just been laying, taking my vitamins, and changing my gauze, and playing games. Oh my god. I look much worse than I actually feel. I feel really good. I'm not in pain at all, but my eyes are so swollen. This sensation is most similar to when you have a really intense stuffy nose and you keep blowing it, but it's like really, really congested. There's so much pressure in your head. That's what this feels like. Oh, and this? I don't think I told you guys. He didn't take any of my rib. He took my ear cartilage because that's just what he felt was the best when I was in surgery. So that's what we did. I'm pretty sure we did an osteotomy to bring my nasal bones in. That's why there's so much bruising and swelling on my eyes. Because usually with ethnic nose jobs, you don't get bruising because none of the bones are broken. You're just adding cartilage. But I think in my case, he did osteotomy to cinch my nose. Because this is looking scary. Annie. They just brought me a little breakfast. Eggs, olives, cheese, tea, and a bread. Okay guys, I'm going to wash my nose for the first time. First, I'm going to wash my hands. This is gonna look really scary, but from the side, so like the center part of my nose here is covered by this nostril retainer. So when I turn to the side, it looks insane because there's no center part there and it's really upturned and like swollen right now. It's giving piggy, but I know that's just because it's really swollen and all of this tape is like making it lift up and it'll drop. So I'm not too concerned about it. Oh. Next thing that I'm gonna do is this nasal oil four times a day. All right, now we could take the medications painkiller, antibiotic, propylene, arnica. That was not delightful. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but he prescribed me this. It's supposed to thin my skin around my nose and shrink my sebaceous glands. Because I have thick, oily skin, this can hinder the healing of my nose a little bit. So that medication is supposed to help with the healing so I heal properly and a little bit faster. And it'll help so I can see definition in my nose faster because I do have thick skin. I looked it up. It's literally just Accutane. I think it's a lower dose. But yeah, I don't feel tired or anything. I feel normal. I'm doing my schoolwork. I'm doing my editing, playing my games, taking my walks. The only thing is I can't breathe because I have tampons in my nose, but I don't feel tired and I don't feel disgusting or groggy. I just ordered some room service. I chose not to get soup today, so I got some fruit and some kofta meatballs. I also wanted to show you my sleeping and sitting setup. Either prop three of these pillows like this, or the two and the one up here, and that's how I sleep. I'm looking really, really rough. My forehead is still swollen. Not as bad as yesterday, but still very swollen. My cheeks are the most swollen, though. I think all the edema is being pulled down by gravity, because this... The bruising under my eyes is going away. It's pretty much gone. I didn't bruise that much. I'm just extremely swollen. Do you want to see what my ear looks like? It looks kind of disgusting, actually. But he took cartilage from my ear. Can you guys tell? Can you see that? And then behind here, I'm going to try to get it, but I don't really know how well. 
I washed my hair for the first time today. Yesterday, I just washed my body. So today, I actually washed my hair. I didn't get my face wet. Everything was good. It was a little bit difficult, so I did need some help, but it was okay. I've been taking my medications on schedule. Everything is good. Drinking a lot of water, eating soups and salads. This hotel does have 24-hour room service, so that's really cool. But I just wanted to show you guys how different my face looks. I don't even look like the same person. I'm trusting the process. I don't really know what day it is, but this is what I look like right now. The bruising has pretty much gone away here. And now I'm just extremely swollen in my cheeks. But my hair is clean and my face is clean. I figured out a way to shampoo my hair and wash my face. I'll show you guys later tonight when I do it. My lips are no longer swollen and I feel really good. Today we're gonna go to downtown Istanbul, do a little bit of shopping probably. I still look pretty crazy. My nose is extremely upturned and swollen. Yeah, it looks insane. Feeling good. <sighs> Hello everyone! I just got back from my tour of Istanbul. It was so, so fun. We went everywhere. Yeah, we went to downtown Istanbul. We saw the famous mosque, Hagia Sophia. We saw mini Istanbul. We went on the cables. We went shopping. We went to go eat. We did a lot today. But now I'm very tired and I need to wash my hair. So I wanted to tell you guys about how I've been shampooing my hair. Your whole face needs to be dry, which was going to be no problem for me because i was expecting him to take rib cartilage but he ended up taking ear cartilage so it is a little bit tricky because she said that i could get shampoo on my ear and water on my ear that's fine but i need to make sure to wash it all out and i can't like really scrub back there so what i've been doing is i take the shower head off and hold it to wash my hair just so i have more control and i lean back in the shower like this get my hair wet shampoo it with one hand hold the shower thing with the other hand and then wash it out and just take my time and be really gentle especially around here and then when it comes to my face i do that outside of the shower after i take this gauze off i wash my forehead i wash my cheeks a little bit above my lip and then down on my chin i avoid this area right in here like right underneath my eyes and i avoid my eyes but i take these cotton pads get the cotton pads wet and get the water on my face i like to use the cotton pad because when i use my hands and i just put water straight out there sometimes the water can drip there's just a little bit too much water. Then I go in with a small amount of cleanser, be gentle, and then take another cotton pad with water and just wash it off. And then I do my serum and I do a very, very tiny amount of moisturizer. And again, avoid, avoid like right up here, right here, and a little bit under here. So they avoid the center area. Maybe at the outside of my cheeks, my chin, the tops of my forehead. It's okay, I could do that. And then I do all of my nose cleaning stuff. That's what I've been doing. Yeah, I'm feeling really tired and I really need to take a shower. So I'm gonna go do that. Probably I'll just watch a movie for the rest of the day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys. So this is what I'm looking like. Yesterday, I forgot to do a check-in because I was busy writing an essay. This is what I look like today. My bruises are starting to become that yellow color and the swelling on my cheeks is yellow too, which I think is really interesting. But I'm a lot less swollen than yesterday and the day before. My cheeks are looking better. Still not 100% back to normal, but for the most part, my facial swelling is almost gone. My nose is still extremely swollen. It's gonna be swollen for the next year. Yesterday was actually the first day that I could smell out of my nostril, so that was really cool. This nostril retainer has holes in it. It's not blocked at all, so you can smell through it. I'm really excited for him to take off the silicone stents tomorrow and just deep clean my nose, but I'm really, really excited to see my new nose tomorrow. That is all for now. Oh, look at the snow. I don't think you guys can see because of the droplets, but oh my god.
still looks scary. It's my last day in Turkey. I got my first cast off today, then he put on this other cast. It's a little bit softer, so it should fall off in a couple of days. This discoloration is crazy. Obviously, I'm still extremely, extremely swollen all over my face, really. He gave me a steroid shot in my ass to counteract the swelling on my face and my nose. My lip, I don't know if I talked about this before, but my lip is paralyzed. That is so creepy because he had to cut right here and then the nerves got shot but that comes back in a couple of months not too concerned about it but yeah i could wash my face like normal now take a shower like normal i can get my face wet he took out the stents that were in my nose and he did like this suction thing to clean out my nose it hurts so bad because my nose is so so tender anything that touches it it hurts really bad he also gave me a new nostril retainer and i'm supposed to wear that for three months but look at this i could breathe through both nostrils Okay, I am a little bit under two months post-op. As you can see, I still tape my nose every day and I still wear my nostril retainer. I will be taking all of this off in a little bit so you guys can see what my nose looks like, but I just wanted to quickly say that I'm still taping my nose, still taking bromelain supplements. I started taking serapeptase supplements and I'm still taking the Accutane that my doctor prescribed to me for my sebaceous glands. It's supposed to help with my healing and my swelling since I have thick skin. My smile is not completely back to normal yet but she's it's a work in progress my mouth still moves in kind of weird ways especially my upper lip but we're working on it she's getting a little bit better every day i am gonna go take my tape off and i'll be right back okay this is what my nose looks like almost two months after my nose job i just took my tape off so parts of my nose are a little bit irritated and you could still see the lines but this is what she looks like I've been using these adhesive remover pads to take off my tape and to like get rid of the residue and they've been really really helpful. This is what my nose looks like from the front and from the side. I know she looks crazy. You guys don't have to tell me that my nose looks crazy because I already know. I'm dealing with a lot of uneven swelling right now so one side of my nose is going down a lot faster than the other side so it's making it look a little bit wonky but it's totally normal. I've heard other people go through this and my doctor said this was something that could happen. From this view you can really see like the uneven swelling of my nostrils and how it's affecting the way that the nose is looking but I'm really glad that I don't have any scarring from the outside that's visible. Obviously I I'm still really really swollen and the tip of my nose does have to drop a little bit. I know my nose is still super super early on in the healing process and it will change a lot throughout the next year but I'm really happy with how it looks so far. I think she's really really cute even though she is giving piggy from all angles so he did make those improvements that i talked about earlier in the video my bridge is a little bit more defined and slimmer from the front and then the side i have a higher bridge and i have that slope even though my tip is still super upturned and rotated right now it will fall and drop a little bit in the next couple of months i was told that my tip will drop about two millimeters or 10 degrees so i'm just trying my best to be patient i'll show you guys a picture of what i mean when people say that the tip will drop this is someone from reddit the majority of my swelling will go down after six months so I will be doing a video all about the progression of my swelling so if you're interested in that kind of stuff go ahead and subscribe so far I'm really happy with my results and I'm really glad that I did this for myself thank you all for watching and coming along with me on this journey I'm really excited to see how my nose is going to change over the next year I'm just trying my best to be patient I will be making a video all about my progression of swelling at the six month mark so if if you are interested in stuff like that please consider subscribing i hope you found this video helpful or entertaining and i will see you guys in the next one bye